Hello everybody, Jetpack Buddha here. Welcome back to another episode of the Terraria Sumner playthrough. In today's episode, I have some prismatic lace wings, and I'm pretty sure you can probably guess what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be fighting the Empress of Light because she has a very good uh, weapon. Also, I'm going to kind of do a little bit of that. Is my whip targeted on her? I, I can't even tell. What? I can, like, hardly see anything. Just... I think just what I need to focus on the most is just not dying. That needs to be my main focus. And by doing that, then, yeah, I am not dying. So I heard the little freeze. I just wanted to check that I was recording. Okay, okay, that hit her for sure, Empress. That's like literally the, one of the easiest moves to evade in the game. And I'm dead. All right. Well, that means that I have a full night to prepare for the next fight, which is pretty nice. So, yeah. So there's an upside. So I'm gonna go do some fishing, and I'll meet you guys back at the next night. I guess while we wait for night to roll around, I could go hunting for uh, life fruits. So I have 460 health, so that means that I'll need, like... Uh... I don't know. A few more. I'm not, like, amazed. Well, I am good at math, but I'm not good at doing quick math. So, yeah. Uh, yeah time to go do that. Alright, life fruit number one has been acquired. Now time for life fruit number two, which is just a little bit down here. Might even pick up some chlorophyte. We did not pick up the chlorophyte, which, I mean, isn't too big of a deal. I don't really have any use for chlorophyte. Uh, so we're now up to 470 health. So now, like, six more fruits to go. Found fruit. Found another fruit. There we go. Also, is that a gold coin pile I see up there? Hmm. I have to go check it out because it's definitely a coin pile. I just don't know what type of coin. Oh, hey, a coin portal. Oh, and even more gold. How wonderful. It says that there's a life fruit detected nearby. So I'm guessing it's down here, maybe? No, it's not down there. Okay, I found another fruit. I'm not, I don't, I'm not seeing any others, so it looks like it's just a single fruit this time. Ooh, another life fruit. We just need three more now. I doubt that we're gonna get them because my, uh, so it does say life fruit detected nearby. Maybe we can get lucky. Alright, it's almost time for Empress of Light round two. Actually, do I have any extra bewitching tables because I wouldn't mind setting one up in the tree base or did I not pick any more up don't think I picked any more up darn that's a shame oh well 
I can just uh, use the bewitching table that I have here, then. Alright, Empress of Light, rematch. Let's do this. I'm gonna try using... Okay, yeah, I... Yeah, cool, just teleport right on top of me. I... It's hard to tell, like, what's, uh... What's her projectile and what's mine. Not sure if a Danger Sense potion works for ammo, but if it does, then... I should've brought one of those. Okay, I would not want to get stabbed. No, thank you. I love being rammed in the face by a giant fairy thing. Okay, there we go. Hard to tell if I even got like a hit on her with my whip or not, but I did. Which is good. This is that's literally the easiest move like ever to dodge. Gee thanks, Mr. Uh guy. I don't know. I've gastropod. That's what he is, a gastropod. No. Okay. I, I just said no, which means that you shouldn't have hit me. But I mean, I highly doubt that, like, a giant forest creature speaks English, so. I guess it makes sense. Oh, cool. We defeated her. And we got the Eventide bow. Nice. That would be very useful if I literally couldn't, if I could actually use it. Look how much of the ground it lights up. Wow. Uh, I. Actually, I didn't have to do that. Uh, but actually, yeah, I probably could fight. Actually, no, I, I'm not going to risk it. I'll meet you guys back for f uh, fight number two. All right, life fruit number. I don't know. Not sure why I'm keeping track. It's just life fruits. Oh, but there's another one. Hello, Mr. Fruit. Would you like to be consumed? Alright, we are almost at the, like, max health for the video game known as Terraria. And we are at max health, 500. Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, fight of the Empress of Light number three. Stop it, Empress. I, I literally can't do the summon tag damage because she's so freaking like... <laughs> like, like, once I get the summon tag, then I'll be good. Okay, I think I got the summon tag. No, I didn't get the summon tag. For the love of God. Okay. That should have got it. 
Nope, it did not get it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I think this... Oh, so she loses the summon tag whenever she does her dash attack. Okay. That's fair. But it, it's really not. I still don't understand why that attack was implemented. It's so easy to dodge. Like the lion's one. It really reminds me of a, an attack from Undertale, if I'm not sure. If I ever. Uh, it reminds me of the Sands fight, but I don't even remember if an attack similar to that was in the Sands fight. It just gives me Undertale vibes. Once you kind of get the hang of the Empress of Light, she becomes a lot simpler, much more easier of a boss. Similar with any boss, to be honest. But really, the only boss I still have, like, tons of trouble with sometimes is Queen Slime. Not even joking. Okay... Alright, we beat the Empress of Light, and we got the Starlight, which is a very good weapon, if it wasn't for the fact that we aren't a melee class. I guess now we just farm for more, uh, of those butterfly guys. Alright, time for Empress of Light number three. Well, technically number four, but I died one of the times. Also, I didn't mean to... Oh no, did I accidentally do Inferno instead of summoning? Oh well. Maybe the Inferno potion will do something. I doubt it. Also, I'm not sure what fire damage counts as. So that's a little bit concerning. But oh well. I just need to focus on... Uh... I'll take that other Prismatic Lace Swing as well, sure. So just a second one lying there. Hopefully I can still do this with my uh, ring of fire. That just caught me incredibly off guard. I just need to con just continue to dodge the attacks. And I'm dead. Figures. Well, that was a miserable failure. At least we got another Prismatic Clay Swing. Guess I might as well go do some fishing. And it's time to turn in my fishing quest. What did I get? Journeyman bait? One golden angler hat. Nice. Uh, so yeah, since the last cut, it's actually another day of recording because... Uh, like it was taking a while and I actually had to go somewhere, like a dentist appointment, so I couldn't finish the recording, because that, or else I would have kind of, you know, I'm kind of speaking in words. Anyway, since the last cut, uh, I did some fishing, trying to get some more fish for potions, and I succeeded with getting more fish for potions. So now we can create the, the usual three. Swiftness, Regen, and Iron Skin are like a... They're just kind of like the dynamic trio of potions. But now we can craft Draft Potions from Ebon Koi, and some more Endurance Potions from Armored Cavefish. 
Also, you may have noticed that I have the, that since I have the climbing claws and stuff, I can craft tiger climbing gear, and therefore the master ninja gear, which are going to be quite useful in me kind of not dying. You know? So yeah, I can like do a dash attack and all that wonderful kind of stuff. But anyway, it's time to head down to the place and get us an Empress of Light fight going. Ooh, Warding Master Ninja Gear. That's going to be very useful. It's even red. So that means that's good. Yeah, with this, it should make it so that I can, uh, I can dodge attacks better. Alright, it's almost time to summon in this gal. Time to buff up, get an extra summon on us. Yeah, so now I can dash and dodge all over the place. As I say, as I collide right into a giant sunbeam. Okay, I need to try and be better at this. Sometimes I, yeah, I don't even know what's hitting me. Maybe it's like the gastropod lasers. Seems like Chirari would do something like that, just summon in gastropods on me. Anyway, I might cut ahead till either I beat Empress of Light or Empress of Light, Light beats me because, like, We've seen this fight, like, a few times already, this series, and really the only difference is that now I can dodge. And she is down, and we get another Starlight. Rats. I mean, it's a good weapon, don't get me wrong, just not the weapon we need. Uh, so I guess now we can just kind of fly around, see if we can pick up another one of little butterflies. Alright, we got the other quest fish. How many... Actually, once we turn this into the angler, then we should see. Uh, weather radio. Very nice. Does that mean that we can craft the... No, we cannot craft the neat little item. Uh, so, but what are we at achievement-wise? 186. We are so close, I can taste it. I can taste all the fish in my mouth. And there's a gold frog. Hello, gold frog. I will pick you up. Alright. Uh, Merchant is selling something kind of nice. There's also the Sergeant United Shield, which we sadly don't need, but the stopwatch is something we do need. I honestly wasn't expecting to get a cell phone on one of these little playthroughs. Like, you know, like, the, like, the class playthroughs, but I might actually, I'm literally just one accessory off while on my warrior playthrough I only have, like, four informational accessories. Huh? What's this? A frozen key? I just picked that up. Uh, what? Well, I mean... Don't mind if I do, I was heading on to the dungeon anyway. Uh, go nab myself. Try and see if maybe I could get the, uh, the other whip. It's not as good as the kaleidoscope whip that I'm trying to get go for, but, I mean, definitely wouldn't hurt to have it. To have it in our collection, plus it gives me something to do. But, <laughs> that was not scripted, like, well, none of this is scripted. Like, it, so I've kind of like, remove the whole point in a playthrough, but I just picked this up off the ground. But, I'm being completely honest. I, like, I was just expecting to just, you know, fight, fight the little queen of whatever. Completely forgot her name. The Empress of Light. But, and then, just end off the episode, but no, we have this. Alright, time for the next fight. I got myself a 
Prismatic Lay Swing. Oh, and another Prismatic Lay Swing. Don't, don't mind if I do. I'm worth a merrier. Once again, I'm going to cut ahead to the end of the slide because we've already done it, but I am going to add in the additional little Hydra Staff because that might come in handy. Alright, and Empress of Light is down. And still nothing. We got a Night Glow. He's just 26 mana, so that must be really good. Of course, we're not a mage, so we can't use it, but I mean, still. Doesn't mean we can't appreciate it. Actually, we could probably do another fight, so I'm going to go do that as well. And it's down no, another Night Glow. Uh -huh. I mean, we should be getting the Kaleidoscope sometime soon. Hopefully. Probably not, but still hopefully. Also, we got Prismatic Die, which, uh... Ooh, that looks really nice on my character. I think I could also have Prismatic Shoes as well. Oh yeah, those look nice. Alright, fight number, whatever. And once again, another night. Huh. The new... It's got a minecarp. Pretty sure it's actually better than the bee minecart because it allows me to like swim in water, which is pretty neat. Also, I want to check my achievements. Oh, I thought that there was like something that like, like I was stuck on 187 for a long time, but I guess not. All right, this might be one of the final ones of the episode because it's kind of getting a little bit tiring to do. It's like the r repeated, this kind of reminds me of like what happened with the whole Moon Lord thing in Jetpack Lee's area where I just couldn't get the last prison for the life of me. So, yeah, I hope that if we get the Kaleidoscope this time, that would be just um, actually amazing. I would be very happy. Or I could always just die, I guess. That's nice. Yeah, well, at least we got the Frost Hider staff, so I'm going to end off this episode here. I might try and fight the Empress of Light again in, like, a live stream or something. But for now, I'm just going to end this episode here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I'm actually, I'm still really surprised that I got this, but, yeah. It's kind of nice. So I'll see you guys all later, and goodbye.